The second idea of GSRTB5 that I think is a nice bridge from similarity to trigonometry are the special right triangles. These are also very helpful in lots of other places in geometry as well as future topics, so very essential to cover this. This is worksheet number two. We're going to look at the two special right triangles. Um, the first one is formed by cutting a square in half using one of its diagonals. So that when you cut a square using a diagonal, as you know, uh, a square has four equal sides, you know that it has a right angle. The triangle that is formed here is a right isosceles. You can see as this disappears, uh, there's your right isosceles. This is known as a 45, 45, 90 triangle. We know that these have to be uh, equal and so we have base angles equal at 45. Now we're interested in learning more about the relationships of the sides. We know in this type of uh, special right triangle of 45, 45, 90 or right isosceles, you're always going to get two sides that are equal to each other. But I'm interested in the length of the hypotenuse in both of these. So I'm going to do some quick math to find this. This would be 3 squared plus 3 squared equals x squared. 9 and 9 equals x squared. 18 equals x squared. And the square root of 18 equals x. Now, doing a little bit of uh, simplifying, I'm going to simplify the square root of 18 to be the square root of 9 times the square root of 2, which is 3 root 2. I'm going to write 3 root 2 there. So this is 3 squared plus 3 squared equals 3 root 2 squared. Coming over here, doing some quick math, I'm going to do 5 squared and 5 squared equals x squared. 25 and 25 equals x squared. 50 equals x squared, and the square root of 50 equals x. I'm going to do the same simplifying procedure, the square root of 25 times the square root of 2, and so that distance is actually 5 root 2. What I want you to notice is that there is a pattern forming here, that this is 3, 3, and 3 root 2, 5, 5, 5 root 2, the pattern will continue that the hypotenuse will always be root 2 times bigger or divide by root 2 to get to the legs. The two legs will always be equal. Give me a second and I'm going to switch over to the other special right triangle. The other special right triangle is the 30-60-90 triangle which is formed when an altitude is drawn uh, in a equilateral triangle. That, that altitude splits this into two 30 degree angles and we get a 30, 60, 90 degree right triangle. This is uh, also one of those special right triangles called the 30, 60, 90 right triangle. And uh, it holds some very interesting characteristics as well. So here is a 2, 2, 2 equilateral. They're all equal. If I drop down that altitude, uh, of course, I get a 30, 60, 90 triangle. And when I drop that altitude down, it's split it in half. The first thing I learned is that the hypotenuse, you'll see, is always uh, double this shorter leg because of the way it was constructed. So over here, let's say these are each five. When I drop this down, uh, actually, let's just use six for the, the sake of some ease here, six. When I drop this down in my equilateral, it creates, uh, creates a right triangle that is a 30, 60, 90, and what used to be 6 is now 3. So the question becomes, what is this side, and is there a relationship there? We see half or double, half or double here, and so our interest is what's going on over here. So again, let me do some quick math here. The hypotenuse is equal to 1 squared plus x squared. 4 equals 1 plus x squared. I get 3 equals x squared, and I get the square root of 3 is this value. So this doesn't look like there's much to learn here, but let's see what happens here. 6 squared equals 3 squared plus x squared. 
36 equals 9 plus x squared. When I subtract uh, 9 from this value, I get 27 equals x squared. And the square root of 27 equals x. Now if I do a little simplifying, watch what happens. The square root of 9 times the square root of 3 is x, and I get 3 root 3. Take a look here. Uh, notice that this is half and double, half and double, half and double, half and double. Notice this is this number times root 3 or this number divided by root 3. This number times root 3 or this number divided by root 3. I think we found a cool little, uh, a cool little relationship. We'll look at it more uh, under the Elmo in just a second so you get a, a closer look on it. But here's how easy this can be if this number was 8 this has to be 16 and this number has to be 8 root 3. These relationships pop up all over the place. Let's take a look at them up close. This video will be a little bit longer but uh, is, is very important for you. We talked about how the 45-45 right triangle is actually found in the square. When we draw in the diagonal we learn in a square that the diagonals are angle bisectors, so it cuts these up into 45s. And of course, the other angle is 90. This also, of course, gives us the right isosceles triangle, where these two are equal, and then the hypotenuse. So that's where the 45-45 right triangle comes from. And we've already established um, the, the shortcuts. And the shortcuts are that the hypotenuse is root 2 times longer than the leg. And I don't think I need to mention that the two legs are equal. It's a right isosceles. So quickly, 10, 10, 10 root 2. Now, some people think I'm just slapping a root 2 on there. I am multiplying this number by root 2 to get this value. Here I have 2, 2, 2 times root 2 gives me 2 root 2. Um, working backwards, I can divide by root 2. So that would be 8 root 2 divided by root 2. So instead of multiplying by root 2 to get here, I'm going to divide by root 2. And you see 8. Uh, here, of course, dividing by root 2 gives me 3 in these locations. Now finally, that this is the first time you have to think and not just either put on a root 2 or take off a root 2. A hypotenuse is uh, the square root of 8, so I'm going to divide by root 2, which is the square root of 4, and the square root of 4 happens to be 2. So these are, um, these are 2 each. So again, remember, you're multiplying or dividing by root 2. I like this one too. The hypotenuse is 5 root 6, so we would divide by root 2. This gives me 5 square root of 3, is what these are. And you can see that the hypotenuse is root 2 times bigger. Here I have an 8. Um, this is kind of an interesting thing. I'm dividing uh, 8 by the square root of 2. The way we get rid of that root 2 or divide by the square root of 2 is multiply top and bottom by root 2. This, of course, becomes the square root of 4, which simplifies to 2 and 8 divided by 2 is 4 square root 2. Notice uh, that uh, there's a pattern that I performed here. I multiply top and bottom by root 2. And the reason I do that is because it simplifies the denominator and then I can simply divide. Here, let's watch a similar pattern take place. See if you can see the shortcut. If I'm dividing by root 2, I multiply top and bottom by root 2. I get 6 root 2 over 2 divides to be 3 root 2. So you can see the shortcut of it is a whole number. It's divide by 2 root 2, right? So 8 divided by 2 is 4 root 2. Just simplifies that way. The other special right triangle that we looked at is called the 30-60-90 triangle. And it's formed by cutting an equilateral in half. And its sides are a little more complex, but uh, also something that can be memorized or remembered. Uh, the names we give them, uh, as discussed, are the, the short leg, uh, the long leg, and the hypotenuse. 
and uh, they have a relationship to each other. The first and easiest one that we talked about is that because of an equilateral, when you cut it in half here, whatever this was, let's say it was two, this would be half the size. And then doing the Pythagorean theorem, uh, as we saw, this becomes square root of three. These three values are critical that the hypotenuse to short leg is, a, is doubling or halving, and from short leg to long leg, either multiplying by root three or dividing by root three. So let's go through some basic ones, and then we get to the trickier ones. Half of eight is four, and then four times root three is four root three. Done deal. Half of six is three, and three times root three is three root three. Half of two is one, and one squared is one root three. Down here, we now have some things missing. The short leg is seven, so this would be 14. And this would be 7 root 3. Hypotenuse is double or half times root 3 or divide by root 3. Hypotenuse is known, so half of that would be 5. And then this would be 5 root 3. Can you see how quick I'm able to uh, perform these uh, calculations? And they're the exact values. The long leg is 8 root 3, so when I divide by root 3, I get 8. And then when I double 8, I get 16. Now, all of those are very quick and simple. The ones that are a little trickier, of course, is when we do not have a root 3 on that long leg. Um, and so, again, this will go just like what we did. It will be 9 divided by root 3. And you know what to do. Multiply top and bottom by root 3. And guess what? I get 3 root 3 because this simplifies to this. And when I double that, I get 6 root 3. Not too bad at all. Um, I'm learning a shortcut. It's divide by 3 root 3. Uh, I'm just going to write 7 root 3. If you don't believe me, do the long work and then double is 14 root 3. Here, uh, 5 root 6 divided by root 3 is 5 root 2. And then when I double that, I get 10 root 2. The special right triangles are awesome. They help us get all kinds of calculations quickly and uh, they become exact values. The key to what we're learning here is that in any 30, 60, 90 triangle or any 45, 45 right triangle, these proportions are locked in for good.